Hello everybody, this is Joey, and this is my final Minecraft release candidate um, beta video. Uh, I will make more Minecraft videos, but this will be the final one from the beta version of Minecraft. Because today is November 18th, and later on today, at some point, Minecraft will be released. And then I will make videos from the new Minecraft. Which I think will be a lot like this release candidate too, but maybe there might be some ever so slight changes. And um, I say this would be my last beta video, but it might not be, you know. I mean, there might be... Um, I might go back. I st I've got some jars saved. I think i got a 1.4 jar saved. So there's potential, you know, for me to... Do I have any iron ingots? Iron ingots. There's potential for me to go back and actually play the older versions of the game. I probably won't, but there is that potential. Where am I? Oh, there, there. So I'm going to make a sword. I'm going to make a sword. And I'm gonna get a stick. And I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna do that, that. And then I'm gonna go down here again. And see if I can't enchant this sword. It's gonna be kind of a sucky enchantment because I only have three experience points, but. Um, or three experience levels, but. Nonetheless. No. Yes. There we go. Bane of Arthropods 2. Knockback 1. Fire Aspect 1. Sweet! So let's go Enderman hunting. Get out of my way, dowdy old sword. And get ready for the new hotness. Let's go up here and get our Enderman hunt on. Oh locked out. I'm going to go over to my official Enderman spawn area thingy. Uh, please forgive me if I make references to th things. You jerk. Oh, thank you, dogs. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yep. Sit. Sit, Fido. Sit. Sit, Fido, too. Um, let's go up here. What do we got going on? Ah, oh, crap. Seems like the more versions that come out, the harder this game gets. I and mean, there's more and more mobs. They're all chasing after me. Like a bunch of assholes. Do, 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 do. Going Enderman hunting. And those are dogs and not Enderman. These are water dogs. Oh, yeah. I, what I was saying, please forgive me. I've recorded this like three or four times. And my last recording I thought went really well. And then I discovered there was no audio. So, <laughs> uh, I'm back. Uh, what am I doing? Gonna get that. Gonna get that. There we go. Now, full, and I'll regenerate. Uh, so, this is like take seven or eight. I don't know. Anyway. Coming over here to my Enderman hunting grounds. Ow. Why is he on fire? Oh, that must be my sword. How cool. Get away from me, skeletons. Really? I don't like you at all. Going over here to hunt some Endermen. Haven't seen any so far. Yup. So yeah, playing some Minecraft. Uh...
These skeletons just suck. They really do. Creepers suck too. Got him fire. He like lights him on fire. That's awesome. Look at him running away. He's so scared. And I've got knockback on that sword too. So that's cool. I like that. I think eventually, like if I played this game into infinity, <laughs> as you as you approach infinity in this game, uh, <laughs> uh, the world is more and more inundated with creeper craters until at some point you would be all the way down to bedrock across the whole world uh, because of creeper craters. Is that a... Yes, it is. Come and get me, sucker. Yep, here he comes. Yep. Douche. Where'd he go? There he is. Ooh, got him. Got him, and he dropped an ender pearl. Awesome. Awesome. So now that this game has purpose, uh. I actually go out and fight. I used to never go out and fight mobs. It was something I avoided at all costs and only did if I had to uh, because I didn't have a bed to sleep in or what have you. Uh, but now I go, I, you know, I go out and I fight these things because I have to. Uh, because you're gonna need you need Ender pearls. A number one to make uh, Eye of Ender. And you also need blaze powder, which you get from blaze rods, which you get from blazes in the nether. So you have to fight those two, but those are a little bit easier to find. They're less elusive, and I think they're actually easier to fight. The uh, ender endermen are a little bit difficult to fight because they, if you're in terrain that has a lot of caves in it, they will teleport underground, and then they'll lose interest in you, and then you just don't see them again. So that's why I fight over here. Uh, because I n I've never had that issue in this area. They've always uh, they've always come to me and never teleported anywhere. I'm trying to get this one to come to me. Is he? Yep, oh, here he comes. Oh. Tele come on, teleport, teleport. <laughs> Cool enchanted sword. Yes, another enderpearl. And there's another enderman. Come and get me. He's coming to get me. This is such a cool sword. I wish I'd have done this a long time ago. <laughs> I really like the enchanting. That's. I gotcha. There we go. Oh, he died brutally. So I've got two ender pearls. So you, you use the eye of ender to find. You throw them up in the air and they, whatever direction they head in, that's where your stronghold is. And you, you keep doing that till you zero in on your stronghold. And then once you get down to your stronghold, you gotta dig down and find it. Once you dig down and find your stronghold, then you have to use even more. I have Ender to activate a portal that takes you to the end of the game. And then you fight a dragon and a bunch of Endermen, I assume. I'm not really sure what all happens at the end of the game. And I don't really want to know until I actually get there. So, uh, Which is a big contrast because previously this game had no ending. It was just a game. And you played it and that was it. Take that skeleton. I'll get you. Where are you at now, buddy? Yeah, I'm digging this sword. I think that. Oh, I wonder if you can upgrade your bow or your arrows or something like that. Not that I have a lot of bow and arrows, but that'd be kind of neat. 
But what I really what I really need to do is get me a diamond sword and enchant the heck out of that thing. That'd be fun. But I need a lot more experience points for that. And you only get those by fighting mobs. So yet another reason to go out and fight mobs. But this is a darn cool sword, I'll tell you that right now. So anyway, yeah, the previous version of mine versions of Minecraft were you had creative and then you had survival and now this is an actual, you know, game. I, I don't know. I guess it's still technically called survival, but uh it seems like it should have another name cuz survival is was kind of a a unique concept. Uh, because you generated a world and you lived in that world and you had, you know, staying alive was semi-important um, and uh, you could build in that world and it was still a kind of a sandbox game and it still can be. This game can be, to like, you don't have to go to the end of the game. You don't have to go to the stronghold. You don't have to fight Endermen and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, but you can, and so it's it's like it's almost like there's three different game types now. There's survival, and there's you know action adventure, I guess maybe, and then there's creative, which I don't really care for creative. I don't really do a lot of like uh, I don't do a lot of building uh, per se. I mean, I do build houses and junk like that, and I probably will build more houses and things, especially when the new version comes out. But, ah, uh, man, I just, um, I, I just, I, I just enjoy playing this game. I, I mean, just getting out here and exploring. There's so many aspects to it. The music is good. Music is great. I really like the music. That's what originally attracted me to this game. I started watching uh, a long, long, long time ago. I saw one very brief video about it, like a brief grainy video of a alpha. It was still not even alpha yet. It was um, like the creative original creative release and but right after they added mobs so there were mobs but uh i think it was like inf, inf dev or indev or something like that was uh that version i saw a video of that and then i didn't see any more until i started watching zach scott uh zach scott games do videos of minecraft and i really liked his series i still watch his series but it's not as cool anymore cuz um, the newness of the game is wore off and it's more about his interaction with the different players on his server as opposed to actually building cool stuff and doing neat things And uh, but he would play the game and music would be playing in the background I was like this game is so cool I gotta go get it and I went and got it and it wouldn't run on my computer because I had a shitty computer at the time and I still have that shitty computer which is not made for gaming uh, so I went out and bought a new computer basically just to play Minecraft and which thankfully you don't need a very expensive computer to play Minecraft but you do need a better one than I had so anyway um, yeah here I am playing Minecraft uh, the music's great, although none of it's playing, and you can't make it play. And I kind of wish they would add more music to the game, uh, some different tracks. Just continue adding tracks and uh, having them play randomly. Uh, but this is definitely a cool game. One of my probably favorite games of all time. Uh, if I had to make a list of favorite games of all time, this would definitely be on it. And... Uh, Enemy Territory, Castle Wolf, Return to Castle Wolfenstein Enemy Territory has got to be probably my favorite game of all time. I played that for hours and hours when I was uh, in my college years. I, I remember one day, or maybe not my college years, but um, certainly my younger years. But... <laughs> 
I played that literally for 16 hours straight one day. And it was just so much fun. You go out there and you kill Nazis. What, you know, you can't really beat that. But anyway. Um, yeah, Minecraft. I don't know. Minecraft might be my favorite game. On, even on top of that game. Uh, because that one got a little old after a while. I mean, yeah, you're out there running around shooting stuff. And some of the maps were really cool, but after a while, you know, it kind of got uh, a little stale, a little old. And the the thing about Minecraft is it's always new. It's always changing. Uh, there are constant updates. Even when you go a long time between updates, there's more territory to explore and new things to build and uh, new worlds to create stuff to do so it's pretty fun I'm sure eventually I will get tired of it but uh, right now I'm not tired of it and I'm totally looking forward that one to once the, once the full release comes out I'm gonna start a new world start from scratch and uh, try to play the game and try to beat the game that's what I really want to do try to get out there and beat the game so anyway I just thought I'd do one final Minecraft video for the ages <laughs> and uh, this is it so my final Minecraft beta video uh, for the most part I you know unless I get nostalgic um, all my other videos about Minecraft will be in the full release version. So, anyway, uh, hope you have fun with your full release, and I will see you later. Peace out, have a lot of fun, and goodbye.